uh, to see in the previous series. It didn't get any Chen whatsoever. I believe it was banned. Yeah, it was being yeah. prioritized as a ban, yeah. yeah. And and this is uh, arguably the best five if it's not Grimstroke. It depends on your uh, your, your style, I would imagine. It's all, yeah, it's all about your five being able to find farm, right? I think when we looked at the VP series that they lost, it's like, they're going for these support, like these save type supports. Mm. They're not able to actually take early fights, and then eventually it gets to 30, 40 minutes, and like your 5k net worth compared to like the 10, 15 of the opponent. Is it me? Does it feel like VP are kind of getting everything they want right now? Just a, yeah, this, this is like the classic lethal combos, right? You already made the Grim Stroke, but now you got the Pango and the Phoenix coming out. This is like pretty much a standard VP draft, in my opinion. Like when they're second pick, they'll always go off lane plus one. It's, like it's nothing to. <laughs> Carl's shaking his head. It's like it's not standard. There's no center. No, but like the concepts. I mean, I yeah. don't mean like the literal heroes, but it's like they're not really. Showing I just think it's like you prep all week or uh, all day for VP, and you know, which is like, hey, we'll give him Phoenix Mars. <laughs> 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 well, I know we'll pick a Charlie Juggernaut, baby. Not to flame. It could work. I think yeah, it's a little yeah. early. You're very susceptible to a potential like last pick TA for no one. But you got to expect they'll save his hero. You could yeah. just morph here as an example. Mm -hmm. But this is one of those positions for Nip. It's like, well, we already know their combo, so why not just pick our carry? Of course, you can counter pick our carry, but we know we're gonna have a good strong lane in the Juggernaut. In terms of the game, you're always going to have that impact and also think look at their draft already it's all about being able to make those early moves juggernaut happily plays into those I, moves i get that i just feel like chen is already a great support against phoenix mars because they're not really looking to kill as much as they are to uh, win by attrition and i understand you want to now save your off laner to get mm -hmm. like a favorable matchup yep. but you know it i'd rather have my uh carry just be in a better position to win me the game then I would just secure my offline or maybe a better lane. Yeah, for Nip, I think they're just approaching it well because their first pick, right? The end of the second phase is when they have to pick their best hero. Mm. And for them, I think Pangal is normally locked into offlane. So they're pretty much saving this pick, in my opinion, either for that Supreme boss tier pick because like you said at the start, it's like it's pretty much the Supreme show for this team. Mm -hmm. And then you have these supporting factors that enable him heavily. So maybe we'll see the Supreme hero or we might just see a casual era pick. Faceless <laughs> Void. Save the Void. I mean, it's pretty A lot uh, of team fight. Pretty solid from Virtus Pro, and again, like the reason I love this setup for them is that it enables no one to effectively just pick based on what he's feeling, his matchup. He has so much he could go here. A TA fits, a Kunkka, a Quap. Mm -hmm. There's so many options for you now. As long as it doesn't have a cooldown, that's for sure, because that's probably VP's biggest issue, which is mm -hmm. the, the classic, oh, well, if they have ults up, you're very scared yeah. to fight, but that does normally mean that the first 15, 20 minutes is when Nip can set the pace of the game, right? If they are able to like collapse lane, play off the Chen, mm. constantly TP around the map, then sure, you are going to be able to you know, outmaneuver VP because they are very slow in their moves. So if you're leaning into that kind of rapid pace on the side of Nip, what, what suits this right now? Well, if we're thinking Supreme Hero, maybe. Part of me would say, oh, like a classic Pugna, but then like it's terrible against any jump, right? And you have Mars and Void. Meepo. Yeah. Kind of cut. They they do win ah. with it a lot. They do win with it a lot, sure. And is a is a good old hero, but this is one of those games where there's so much stuff. Ah. Oh, there you go. Well done. There you go. I only need the one guess, guys. But like the thing is though, like is it that good of a Meepo game? It's really good Pretty for solid. the tempo. No, it's, it's really good for like the tempo, right? It, and the it's, go. It, it's, the thing is, it's what's going to give Nip's draft the gas in the mm -hmm. mid game. That's and the true. problem is when they don't have Meepo, it feels like their lineup just kind of falls off. Because as you can even see with this, they, they draft these cores that don't really help each other. So mm -hmm. if they don't have the Meepo or the Brood or the Huskar that just kind of is its own win condition with no support needed, it's a little more difficult. Here, you don't have too much damage amp, but you've got the Healing Ward, you've got the Chen for the regen amp, so your Meepo's going to stay alive, and at a point you, you pick up Scotty, but most importantly, you just kill Void. You are really, really good against Void, and the relationship changes once Void has like three items, but in theory, Meepo is going to be so fat that you're not going to die unless VP literally throw everything and the sink at you. So I guess the, the point is like the catalyst for Nip in this mm -hmm. game is survivability, as you mentioned, like healing ward Chen. Yeah, you know, it's. I mean, Meepo is probably your hardest counter to Phoenix. Each Meepo yep. counts as a hero attack. So if you get a blink and hit the egg, like you know, the egg dies in one round. Um, it's pretty good against Grimstroke because you soul bind two Meepos doesn't really matter. Um, We're gonna stay together anyway. They and they go for more damage. Mr. See, I, I love this from Nip because all of a sudden you look at this and it's, they have a way out. It's they a natural twenty minute spike. I'm trying to think what VP goes for. Like, you have the option of maybe go for like a lane dominator, like say like a Monkey King type hero. You just conquer, baby. Conquer, maybe monkey. I could see that, yeah. but 
I think especially once you see the Beastmaster, mm -hmm. it's just, will we be able to win fights in the mid-game? And... There you go. Looks like. All right. Yes. I right. get a predict. One for one, Kyle. I'm. I just. I don't know. The, the problem with the monkey is that you're way weaker at. Like you. You kind of need to be the one opening, but right? The, you don't yeah. have anyone on VP now that can tank. But damage the main reason, spells. though, the way that I see the, the monkey king pick, it's like you play your lane and you need a hero that can move into the jungle and apply yeah. pressure, right? Because right now, point. no one ever moves into the jungle. If monkey king by himself can pressure the meepo, you force supports maybe to move towards that meepo. They're not yeah. that good at it. You then suddenly unlock your side lane. You get the levels, the items, and then this Meepo time is offset because of all this Monkey King pressure. I agree. I, I agree with that. And you have the Grim Stroke too, so mm -hmm. it's going to be important for Solo to play around. Well, we'll see who's actually playing the Grim, but you, you need him playing with the Monkey King. And I, I agree with this point mm -hmm. because while Kunkka is better for your team fighting, Monkey can be active in enemy yeah. jungle from like 10 minutes even earlier, perhaps. And you can hunt the Meepo with Grim, and you're not as cooldown dependent, which is quite nice. And also, in the way that we've seen some teams play these like later games, it's not playing to win but playing to survive yeah and a kunker doesn't really help you have that like play style monkey king though he can sit himself in the trees play behind towers skip yep. your waves and that could be vp needs a fallback plan because their wave clear isn't that good right they rely pretty much on grimstroke mars and maybe the monkey king outside of that it's a bit yep. clunky i mean i said coming into the series i thought for nip to win they needed yep. charlie to step up so it wasn't just a one-man supreme show but then they gave supreme meepo again and this is really the this is the game i feel like if nip can't win this game they don't. They aren't going to have a shot in the series. So I lean their direction for this solely because I'm a believer in the power of Meepo in the hands of a Meepo player. And really, VP, they can win, but they don't have any hard answers that I'm looking for. Um, I feel like I want to go. I can't. I agree so much with you on this point. Is this like, brain versus heart? No. Nah, yeah. Pretty much. Because it's like I, I fully agree that the idea of like Meepo, he's going to have. The strong timing, they're gonna collapse, and there's so much cooldown on VP. But I just feel like this Monkey King might be able to buy just enough time and enough like pressure away from the side lanes that they're gonna be able to take those crucial fights. And Roshan isn't as easy for Meepo, so I'll the, go the with Meepo VP. nerf might actually, no one might just absolutely dumpster. Yeah, I, I, yeah, like I'm I actually VP. think that might just happen. Mm. So all right, so you, quickly yeah. to round up, you are gonna be. In I, Nip's I'm switching it to VP. Your VP? No one, no one's gonna oh, bother. No. no. No, I'm going, be, no, no, I'm, going, no I'm going VP, I'm going VP. All right, so both my panelists are on the VP train, yep. but all I know is we need a game. I'm ready to get underway. We actually have Lyrical and Trent on the line ready to kick this one off. Oh, hey, guys. They got a freaking Meepo. That hero is undefeated so far in this tournament. Uh, I and noticed. we had a quick 2-0 earlier, and now kind of feeling like game number one of this series could be decided rather rapidly. I mean, it might be drawn out a little bit, but Trent... I feel like you, it, when a Meepo draft comes out, you kind of know what's going to happen. And, you know, if the, if the boxes oh, yeah. get checked, it's all good. But uh, how are you feeling? I don't know. It sounded like they weren't sure what's going to happen. They seem to think like, <laughs> oh, yeah, NIP is going to win. Oh, never mind. No one's just going to body him. Yeah. <laughs> GG. Apparently. I mean, what the hell? That, that's a little bit crazy to me. Um, do you do you agree? Like, do you like this Monkey King as an answer? Sorry. Sorry. I'm uh, doing some mic diagnostics, my, my friend. I'm good now, though. Okay, sounds good. I you you sound awesome. beautiful. You sound right. really cheery and, and well perfect. awake. Oh, Sometimes perfect. my... Yeah, well, we're good to go now. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, I see Zayats is back on his patented uh, triple fairy fire build like he was on that Pugna. Hey, let's go. He's got He's some, uh, some strats, I see. Um, I think it's uh, it's the new the new hotness. You know, you get six damage out of that. Solo, though, gets blocked off by Era. Looking to see if he can just run him down here uh, with the Orb of Venom. And I mean, I think Solo is just going to get beaten down to death, right? Uh, he might be able to get in range of the tower. Does Era decide to dive it? Uh, towers, they're pretty mean these days. Oh, uh, they see that there's a ward well, there too. Yeah, there you go. He just like, that worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Well, cool. That helps quite a lot. Lots for Virtus Pro, though. That's like all your supports wasted the time, and you just lost a ward. But yeah, I'm uh, very interested in this mid lane. I don't think I've—I don't remember the last time I got to see like a Monkey King versus a Meepo. I feel like whenever it's a Meepo game, it, it always comes out of those like, all right, it's a perfect Meepo game, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Monkey's really been a part of one of those because you can, you know, you think about Monkey and you're like, well, he seems to have a lot of very good things you like versus Meepo, like the big AOE life steal you might get later on from the Boundless Strike, constantly harassing him with right clicks, hunting him in the jungle. Seems like a pretty good counter pick. Yeah, like, and this he looks very unhappy right now. I would say he's uncomfortable. <laughs> he's trying to maintain social distance, and no right. one is not having it. 
Uh, he's just killing all of his creeps, getting deny after deny. And this is that hero that did just get nerfed too, right? Like, didn't have an absolutely wonderful time in that last patch. Um, you know, now he doesn't get his second Meepo until level four, so he has to get through that sort of awkward phase of just being one hero for a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to keep our eyes on it. I also uh, wholeheartedly approve of the triple bubble strategy between... Uh... Or, uh, sorry, the quad. We, we made up to four. We have the egg, we have the Mars Arena, we have Chronosphere, and we have the uh, the Wukong's Command. Jeez. That's a lot of, like, big circle Venn diagram action going on. And if you're right in the middle of all of them, it just really sucks to be you, pretty much. Um, I, I think it summons something like <laughs> um, Big Beast. I think we get a new hero if they manage to do that. Come on, guys. We got to make it happen just for the people out there. Um, Charlie trading off against Resolution. Obviously, this matchup uh, very much into the favor of Juggernaut, but you can kind of do some things as Mars if you get out to a decent start. Uh, and it's just a Chen that's with the Jug, so not as dangerous as something like that Grimstroke Jug uh, to sort of beat down on the Mars. There's definitely going to be uh, like outplay potential too, though, because you know the Jug wants to try and like abuse down to a potential healing ward at some point, so he might be hanging a little bit low, and you've got the Spear... So, you know, you, you can definitely play some games with them. Yeah, definitely some, like you say, big outplay potential. And if you see a kill in this lane, you know that there's an outplay that's going on. Uh, down bottom, a little bit of a mix up there as well. Saberlight, probably going to be one, one that wants to, like, sort of set the tempo with the Meepo. Yeah, he gets a bunch of points up there. Uh -oh. He's coming back under that ward, or that hawk. Era, he knows it. They're just so helpless these days, man. They just, <laughs> <laughs> they just die and die. Mid lane? Oh, no one. That's a hop, skip, and a jump for the easy last tap. All right. There it goes. Primal Spring taken early. 1-1, one, one, or 1-1-2 one, one, build, actually, out of no one. And I guess... From the, uh, the diagonal tree play. Very nice. That's some geometry. It's impressive. Snakeo tries to get this pull off. We'll be able to connect it. See if Zayats can come and interrupt it a little bit here. And it looks like he's going to be able to. So no free pull away by Snakeo. As he taunts in their face. Drops the uncooked egg. And Charlie just continues to take a beating. Resolution's had a great time so far. 20 and 6 versus 16 and 2. Yeah, this looks uh, quite fine at the moment. Charlie's like in a, kind of a bad spot. I'm not sure. Like his courier just came. Uh, but I don't think he brought any more regen. He just finished out what he had. I, mean, I guess he's a Chen, right? So he's thinking like regen shouldn't be that important. He's got 7.4 HP regen. That is so insane. Whenever the Chen's next to him. That's crazy. All right, uh, yeah, this hero's still busted. <laughs> Mid lane. Chasing in again. Round two onto Supreme. They're TPing in era though. And well, Supreme gets the punch on him. No one able to get away. That would have been nice if you could have been able to finish oh, him off there. Oh, I hate Rune. <laughs> <laughs> At least they have a ward. Dude, is he just going to dive him again? He's, he's, Supreme's like, didn't this just happen? Oh, we get the second Meepo. Right as no one was going in on it. Wow. Well, that was convenient. That was close. But what can he even... Yeah, he can basically just juggle. It's like he can just like, oh, well, now this Meepo can farm. It's like, well, I don't want to be anywhere near that hasted Monkey King either. Dude, that, this is really bad. Six and two for Supreme so far. I mean, holy crap. This this is a hell of a beatdown. 28 and 17 from the monkey with the solo kill. It was like after the first wave, no one just stood in between Meepo and the wave, and that was it. Oh, man. All right. Um, well, he's going to need to play catch up, and he can go off to the jungle at this point. That's, that's about all you can really hope for. And in fact, man, this is actually crazy. No one's going to be able to come and contest his jungle well, not missing out on much in the wave either. All right. Well, at the very least, Era can come in. He's going to get some. And uh, they are missing on the, in terms of that rotation. Like, no one didn't find him. So he's gone over to the other jungle. Like, no one has to play that little bit of a guessing game, right? A lot easier, I think, for him to hunt this jungle area, too, compared to the, uh, the eastern ones. So Supreme's feeling kind of safe right now. And he is still a Meepo. So he will slowly recover. Uh, as long as, well, maybe not that slowly, but uh, as long as he doesn't get hunted again by the Monkey King, so. Right. Not uh, not over yet. I guess now we got to look towards the other heroes, right, on NIP and see, like, what what, can, what kind of plays can they make? Mm -hmm. Oh, that that's good, though. Zayas is getting the wards down. It is being scouted, though, and they ping exactly where Zayas just placed that, so. Yeah. 
Good defensive vision there from an IP. Ah, oh, well, eh, yeah. On that that's, side, at least, that's a I'm, DD. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right? Is that no one, like, he knows, okay, if we don't see him over in this jungle over here, then that means he's over here and is probably going to make that rotation in the medium camp. It's like pretty clear what Meepo is going to try and do is bottom lane Saber Light now also going to get stunned up. The chase board coming. No one, an absolute monster. In these early goings. 2 at zero, 1 at six and a half minutes. Oh my God. How is it only a 1k lead? I guess it's because the support is. I don't know. You just look at the net worth. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you look at the net worth, and it's just like mugging 3k, and then the Mars is 2800, and then the Void is 2600. The highest Dire Hero is 2400. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Try this. That doesn't look like it's adding up to me. It, it, it's looking really scary. Um, I, I feel like it's going to be very likely accentuated, this lead, uh, rather rapidly. It's probably like a 1900 gold lead or something. One of those things. Yeah. Oh, hi, Supreme. Hello. Uh, Chase jumps onto the smallest tree in the world and just gonna drop the Wukong's command on Supreme. What a freaking bully. Chasing forward wants to get a little bit more damage. Is he gonna be able to find the kill with Zayats? They're diving. He's even splitting the damage between the two Meepos. The burn is not quite enough to find the kill, but they force him out of the jungle. I like how they just stopped, even though there's like a pretty likelihood of getting that dive down. Maybe he's still not sure about the limits behind a, a tier two tower these days. Right. But good... I mean, that's just as good as killing him at this point, honestly. Like sending him all the way back. Okay, it's not as good, but it's pretty good. Resolution. All right, he was thinking about it. <laughs> Sneko gets hit with like one tap of that orb of venom. It's like, hmm, can I kill him fast enough? I mean, it's feeling like it's a possibility at this point. Virtus Pro have gotten everything that they wanted out of this game. Oh, this is he doesn't... gonna get his invis rune, dude. Oh, wow. These, these runes have been vicious. That's gonna be all three in a row now. The four, six, and eight bottom lane. They're also gonna drop the chrono onto Saberlight, but Air's there with the disarm. Although no one shows up, Mr. Invis is gonna make things absolutely horrifying. Era has already used his swashbuckle can behind the kill though onto ILTW, but no one comes up with the double. Four zero one. This man's on a roll. Huh. So Saber like got the double kill. He killed the Grimstroke, I'm, I assume with all the summons and everything. Hmm. Well, yeah. no one's happy. He's four zero one. Ah, oh, yes, a poor man's shield. This will save me. You know the oh. the buff that Meepo needs? Every Meepo gets the neutral item. I don't that know too broken? if Meepo needs buffs. Yeah, I think that sounds a little broken. <laughs> Especially when the Apex comes out. Yeah. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I like that idea a lot. But even just like the in, like, can you imagine five clumsy nets? <laughs> I think he has that already. That's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's, he's upgraded clumsy net. All right. It doesn't actually need to hit him either. It's still only a thousand gold lead. I mean, the fact that they're keeping it this close is encouraging, and you can see that Meepo is starting to catch up rather rapidly. Right? Like, he's he's just now behind the void. Yeah, it's also because the Beastmaster is so rich. Like, Saberlight's is doing great damage. He's got 50 lap hits. He's going to hit that roar to save himself off the ink swell, and I think he's going to live. This guy's a liver. Deny? Nice. The boar deny. You like to see it. Takes away that Helm of the Dominator creep from them. But in the meantime, it is going to be a takeover of this outpost, and that means a one for one exchange. Yeah, that was uh, going to be bad. Oh, look, and now the next. Can he get every rune in the game? I mean, is I think it possible. So. I mean, with the way the game's going and the map control they're likely to have, I think that if he wants it, he gets it. That's funny. He actually has just no one contesting them, though. It's like, it just doesn't really make sense for any of the heroes on an IP to be at the runes. Right. I guess one Meepo theoretically could be. But they're, they're just so free for him. They haven't even been warded half the time. Yeah. I mean, it's all warding that's just sort of aimed at trying to protect Supreme whenever possible and keep him as far away from this monkey as they can. And uh, vice versa. The... Right. <laughs> yeah, hunting him, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, down bottom, NIP trying to get some aggression on. This is kind of an interesting play they, here. They had the Hawks seeing it all, too, though. LTW does have Chrono back up in five seconds, and the tower is within deny range now. We'll see if they want to go for it. It looks like they're going to... They went mid. Ooh. 
Let's close. Chase forward. Roll under resolution. No one. Not going to interrupt the Wukong's command, actually. It does finally come out. Charlie now trading hits. They also have that supernova down. And if NIP get out of this one with Charlie alive, this is pretty big for them. So then with that rotation, they still managed to secure that bottom tower at the same time with like a three hero rotation because the Phoenix leaving. Yeah, very good. Defend your mid tower that's getting a little bit low. Considering how much the Monkey King dominated, uh, very surprising they still have this tower, but that's mostly just because no one didn't make a, an effort to try and knock it down. Right? He, he identified the more important thing, which was trying to hunt after that Meepo, yeah. who is still right at the bottom of the lowest cores alongside the Juggernaut. In fact, now even below the Jug. They both go back to hitting creeps. But the difference between him and like this Beastmaster now, it's only a couple hundred gold. Um, that's not True. too bad at all. No. So the, I guess the other thing there was that it was Faceless Void that got the deny on the tower bottom. You're still happy, I'm, I'm assuming, to take that over and gain a little mm -hmm. bit of map control for NIP. Yeah, I mean, considering how many heroes they rotated, it looked like they wanted like a fight to defend, you know? Yeah. As NIP. Oh, another one. Let's go. Every rune. Every damn one. Invis. And if they're not careful on NIP, who is over here? This is Resolution that's nearby, being slowed down by the boars. Yeah, it feels like the big uh, the big saving grace here is this this uh, Beastmaster by Saberlight, like you were talking about. Yeah, I think if I was NIP, I would just really want Snakeo to get six like as fast as possible, because you know the hunt is coming again, and just Hand of God would be so helpful to go alongside that mechanism. Well, he's farming up a storm right now. Rusty Shovel picked up for the Mars. And Virtus Pro trying to make a concerted effort towards taking down this tier one tower mid, and there's no glyph, so it's just gonna die. Yeah, no, no chance to, to interrupt that one. Yeah, when they're gonna mass their team fight like that, they just don't really have the best options. I mean, that's gonna be something that's gonna be the story of this whole game, really. Like until this Meepo is absolutely huge, that their threat is basically just assassinations and like single target. Like, Pango's their best AoE as they destroy the Beastmaster. Yeah, that was a quick and easy one. Take him down. That was a five hero rotation, or four hero rotation rather, uh, as LTW is still up in the top lane, who's trying to take down the tier one tower there. Um, so that's at least a little bit more space again for the Meepo to try and catch up. He's now just behind the Monkey King. Um, so they've finally been building it up. Oh, is he going to go for it? Thinking about it. Snake goes dead in the Rezo, mid lane. Rezo even pinged it, which, oh, they're going to deny it. How disappointing. Man, they just dropped the Wukong's command again. Yeah. Just for the Chen kill. China is level six now, used the mechanism that last time around. I mean, because this is that weird moment, right? Where it feels like this would be the, the timing when NIP are sort of strong with like any other hero. But Meepo, like, he kind of needs to get into that first item, right? Yeah, he's, he's just behind. He's just not, he's not scary Meepo timing. Right. He's going to wind up like kind of okay for a Meepo game. It's not horrendous. It's a little bit slow. Um, they did get another rune, but they weren't able to make any use of it, unfortunately. But the streak continues. Gets level 11. There's another one picked up as they take down the Pangolier. So a couple pickoffs yeah, here and there. Meepo gets level 11, so now he's got three of himself. And VP, how do they try and convert this next round of, of fighting? Like, trying to see if they can take down tier twos. I guess there's one last tier one bottom they can just clean up if they want. Well, if you're NIP, the only thing they can really do is try and split push right now. Like, they're trying to keep the side lanes pressed because the the faster you're losing these side lanes, like, that's going to be just more evasion paths into the jungle. As Solo looks like he's going to give up his life to ensure that no one will escape. But, uh, yeah, like, they've already taken the mid tier one. Uh, so NIP are just like, all right, trying to relieve pressure on our jungle by, like, pushing these side lanes out as far as we can, right? And, like, this is what a Beastmaster does. He plays down to this area. He pushes out. He uses the Hawks to protect himself. So he, he wants to like keep drawing this attention down here. In that respect, it, it's kind of working. Like they just got to pick off onto Solo. Now they're going to move themselves in perhaps the Chen Creeks. I'm very hesitant to go up that hill. I would agree. Yeah. I do not think that would be a very wise decision. But this game looks pretty easy at this point for Virtus Pro in terms of like how they need to play. Because they, they're they going to have a really good idea of where NIP are. I think getting this vision back up will be nice. I wouldn't mind some deeper wards to spot couriers because couriers just like give away everything you're doing. 
And uh, they're going to go for that uh, Radiant top jungle right now and deny this away from the Meepo. Yeah, they see this Beastmaster, or Chen Creeps rather, heading up this hill solo. The smoke breaks onto Seneco. Supreme still sitting here in the mid lane. And the blink forward, that's the resolution blink. The spear comes out. The rest of the Meepo is showing up to try and turn this back around. Can they kill off the egg in time? No, the Prono! Oh god, the Venn diagram happened, and it's all on Supreme's head. Look at them drop, trying to take down Charlie now as well. The silence, the bashes come out. He dies as well. Oh, they weren't ready. Trent, they weren't ready. No, I saw fifth dimension for a second. <laughs> oh my god, and they're not stopping either. Diving tier four towers with no regard for NIP. NIP just unloaded a can of whoop ass on him. Yeah, my eyes are open, dude. Like, I, I have a, a fifth eye. Like, I can see a whole new world of light and power. That was, that was everything. That was everything. <laughs> they just clicked all of their R buttons. Right on top of that Meepo, life was good. I mean, that's that's the problem is that, like, how do they actually kill Faceless Void right now with this Meepo so underfarmed? The only hope is you roar him in, and Omni slash him and chain stun him with Pango. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't think his life looks so good at the moment, and I think that just lets them play so free. Dude, I... I am uh, I am fully on board now with what you were saying. I was like, well, you know, maybe there's a chance that like uh, they're going to be able to get up to where they need to be. And you're like, yeah, it's, no, it's pretty freaking first <laughs> pro. And I, I guess now the idea is like NIP can try and play aggressive with the ultis down or something. I, I don't know. They could try and get vision out, maybe. Vision's <laughs> okay. good. Okay. <laughs> the temporary expectations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hold on. Uh, a nice goal would be having an outpost at 20 minutes. They still hold the bottom one. Maybe Virtus Pro won't go for that. I think Roche should be on the mine too. But yeah, they are going to press all the way in. Okay. Roar the Grimstroke. I don't have Chrono. They don't have much to try and they turn this back on. around. Oh, oh wait a minute. minute. Wait a minute. Another round of this one. The spear somehow again went through the arena. And Supreme caught in the midst of all of the beams of pain. But the heal coming out from Chen. That keeps him alive. Yes, All so right. many things went well there. They knocked down uh, no one, too. I'm not sure if it was the... Uh, I'm not sure what hit him, but someone was able to knock down no one, which was huge, because he was just casting Wukong on all of them. Yeah, that would have been real bad otherwise. Yeah, it's just like, it creates so much chaos, and they have the Echo Saber slow, too. But hey, excellent work, NIP. They got like the best case scenario. You're able to achieve an objective while all the ultimates are down. You use that to get yourself towards the Evil Blade. You still have that outpost as it's been recaptured by Saberlight down bottom now too. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, they, uh, no, that's right. They had the top one already. They just recaptured the bottom ones. Now they right. own both, but it's gonna take the top one. Yeah. And based upon where VP is right now, it doesn't feel like they really wanna go and contest bottom. So that one should be a freebie. Uh, Era, all right, does he go for the ultimate play? The channeling while he's in Rolling Thunder to steal it back. No, no is the answer. He's running away. <laughs> <laughs> He's not insane. I haven't seen that done in a while. It's a cool, cool one. Um, all right. Down to the side here. They're going to claim a courier in exchange for that ward. ward. Yeah. But the smoke up coming from VP. They knew the Beastmaster's up there, but they know a tastier target. Well, it's actually the Chen. That's not super tastier, but. Oh, he's got the right ping. I'll be W. Oh, Supreme run. Get out of there. Oh, night vision. Yeah. That was real close to, to death. Yeah, tough time right now for NIP, definitely. 2,000 gold leaders. Charlie's going to TP away. So too will Saberlight. Uh, still just split push by more time. Game hasn't changed. There is a question of Roche at this point. Okay, I need to go back here and see if anyone else has gotten a room. He actually just got that one too. This is insane. This guy's getting everything. Picked up the last DD too. Picked up the invis and the hate. Guys, I think he's picked up every single rune in this game. Well, oh, like Cream found an illusion rune. Never mind, he ruined it. Damn, nice. Players. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a question of Roche right now. I think VP, it's like, if if they're split pushing bottom Zayats, uh, yeah. probably dead with the hoof stomp. Nice. Sick play. Eric comes in to secure it. Well done. I mean, that, that could have potentially turned around. Actually, oh god, VP. 
They're showing up with the rest of them, and they found Supreme yet again. Meepo attached to the spear, and let's just drop all the ultis on him yet again. Chrono Spear down on top of it. They don't have the Phoenix, but literally everybody else. Can Supreme get out, though? Is he actually gonna live through this? Are you kidding me? He blinding himself to stay alive. Omni Slash comes out. The save was there for Chen. No one now turned on as well. They take him down. Oh, they dropped all their R buttons, but the Supernova. They didn't have all four. They forgot. They needed them all. <laughs> they and missed now, one. <laughs> and now into the Roche pit. What a turnaround. Oh, Meeple Gaming. Actually, what in the, there was a huge play there, which was the clumsy net from Era. So it doesn't like chain you in place anymore, but he actually stopped no one from syncing up with that damage right at the very start of that fight. He got the ulti down, but then no one was just stuck. And he couldn't, like, he would have died, I'm pretty sure. They would have killed that Meeple when he was super low if he didn't get that clumsy net on top. So clutch stuff there from Era as well as everyone else. To, uh, to help their Meepo survive. I had to check to make sure they didn't have a Vlad. But I, yeah. I'm shocked that they didn't. I mean, obviously Meepo has uh, got, got the Ransack too, but that was just like going nuts. Yeah, and the E-Blade to keep himself alive in the Wukong's command was pretty big. They're gonna find this Grimstroke yet again, trying to bring him down. The heal is out though. Resolution is pissed off, gonna kill off Saberlight. Now Era under control. They stepped a little oh, bit too far forward, but Supreme. Supreme, he goes in, he wants to take this fight onto ILTW with no more Chrono. The beatdown is there, the root continues to come. And Kyle was right, ILTW dies to this Meepo. That yeah, is the Void that was, that was the condition. How do you kill the voice, or the, the Faceless Void when there's a, a poor Meepo? Very hard. When there is a rich Meepo, not very difficult. Oh, Supreme. <laughs> Almost got no one there. That was spooky as hell. So, uh, Ransack and Chen's pretty busted, I guess, eh? I assume yeah. that's why his life seal's, like, insane. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a pretty good combo. Gotta yeah. love Chen Dotes. And now Seneko's gonna get a Vlad's, too. He's, uh, just a little ways away from it. 600 gold. Yeah, I saw that last fight, and they're like, yo, guys, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> that part where you almost died, but then didn't die, that helped us a lot. All right, so... Oh, what to do, what to do. You have a Meepo, Aegis, and you still have all these ultis. So ultis are good. Aegis is a very good counter to the ultis, though. So Virtus Pro, this game just, like, evened up, basically. Mm -hmm. You know? That, that's pretty much where we went from. It was like, all right, this game's, like, looking super good for Virtus Pro. They can be, like, walk this down, take control of the whole map. But then they uh, are unable to get all their ultimates out, and suddenly this Meepo's a hero again. So NIP, they're going to start smoking it aggressive. They just want to keep the one-by-one the -one pickoffs going. They don't want to be sitting ducks for one of these big giant plays of uh, Pangea continent super collisions. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, that's the danger town if you get in there. And that's part of how they were able to make that last fight work. Like, killing off Zayats at the start of it, that was huge. Um, well, chasing Resolution and Zayat, I'm able to make the escape. Mid lane, Snake goes pushing yet again. Still I not don't know, Snake has got the right idea, dude. He's still going. Oh, are they going to find him? Oh, the Hawk! They got him! Oh my god, they got him! And now the chase down comes. They've got the control with the hoof stomp, and they will be able to bring down no one. Saberlight is a complete beast because he didn't go for the LT. <laughs> yeah. Like, so sure this will be fine. fine no way I'm getting outplayed by some boundless strikers up here. I think that probably is the Hawk cooldown again, too, right? Like, that yeah. talent, you can just keep spamming him out. Wow. All right, 2,000 gold lead now in the, you know, projected win probability graph just keeps on going further and further into NIP's favor. I can't believe the Virtus Pro. Oh, and now they use the roar mid on resolution. The Sunray coming out to try and keep alive Rezo. And Era gonna throw out the ulti. Control comes in, Supreme shows up. And Mars likely to go down as they do have the net trying to keep him away. Ooh, blink away before the earn damage came in. So Rezo actually able to make his way out. Bit of a uh, reprieve there for Veritas Pro. And do they do they have a a spirit vessel? Okay, they have a spirit vessel on Phoenix. Five charges of it, but Supreme, now they find an LTW in their own jungle. Man. So close that BP give me too. <laughs> Tips him. It's like, yeah. All right. Well this done. Hey, you know why they probably found him? I bet it was those hawks again. Yeah. Because there is one in there. Things are pretty good. It's really hard to deal with. 
Are they going to try and go high ground on this Aegis? Eh, 45 seconds. Oh, All right, they are definitely going. All right, no chrono. Excellent call here. He was 200 away from the BKB, man. They are sniping this timing right now. This they do not want to fight without everything because they know if they lose this, the game might just be over. Yeah, they have to take that fight. 10 seconds left until Void. Uh, tier 3 towers aren't as juicy as they used to be. They they really want to go back yeah, in. 30 seconds off. until the Aegis dies. Oh, this is really spooky. Gotta be careful. 20 seconds now. Whatever slowdown they can possibly get. Wukong's command, they're going in for it. They're crazy. The stun is out. Meepo under control is going to die. Yeah, but he but pulled the, the last one away. Back. Yeah. yeah. They weren't able to wait for it. It was like seven seconds away too. Yeah. Wow. And now Meepo has Scotty done on top of Blink and Ethereal Blade. 5,000 gold lead. The first Rax claimed. And NIP ready to go again. Where are they predicting their movement? They're saying they're going to push out top. Let's just, like run at them. Charlie is way ahead, right? <laughs> All right, Charlie's gonna hold up. He's ready to go. He doesn't care about anything. He's a madman. The bait's oh, there on the Rezo. Yeah. But the hawk's coming. It sees oh, all. Oh, there it is. And now they find the back line. It's gonna jump Zaya to roar him right at the start. Hoop stomp afterwards. Blown the hell up. And now no supernova resolution trying to get away. The jump in comes. Oh, just by the skin of his teeth. Resolution able to get out of there before Era hit him. Rezo makes enough bold jumps that he knows the exact moment where he screwed up completely. So he hits that TB button very quickly. Or yeah, if many other people would have died right there. You remember at like nine minutes when Meepo was like 300 gold ahead of the Chen? Yeah. <laughs> We're in a very different place now. Times have changed. Now he's 300 lasted. Just head to the jungle. Make things happen. Just cre kill creeps, lol. Like, what, right. Sorry about Dota. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the NA way. Um, yeah, BKB Maelstrom for Void. He is super broke at this point. Uh, Resolution at least has the Crimson Guard done. It's like little things to sort of try and hold off the, the incoming damage. But, I mean, you've just got so much more sustain on NIP with this. Vlad's done now. The Chin bonus on all the heals. And walking up a hill, Resolution wanting to find somebody. Who do they run into? Saber Light's there. Resolution jumps onto him. Trying to control. Clumsy net down. LTW trying to find a target to stick onto. And they will find the bash for the finish. Yeah, it's only one kill, but at least it's like one of the more valuable guys on the squad. So VP will take it. Uh, it doesn't cost any of their big spells. That's probably the, the, the biggest part of that, because now they can invade up top into that dire jungle, try and get some wards down. And if they come across Supreme, they can just throw everything they have on top of them. Is Supreme just lurking with an invis rune at the moment? Oh How bold God. is he feeling? Is it the biggest brain play? Nah, he's just going to push that out. Roche capable of respawning in 30 seconds. That invis still sitting on it. If he wants to, no one's there. Oh, it's tempting. But Supreme, going to play it safe. Oh, no one has his BKB now. So that might have been his only window. Well, Supreme jumped away, and they're going to be fine. So now we have double BKB big cores. Is that enough that Supreme can't just, like, wolf them to death? I mean, I think he definitely still can if there's any sort of a good initiation from NIP, especially now, oh, Satanic on the Jug, too. That is nice. That's a cool build. Deso Satanic, and I'm going back for Butterfly afterwards. Uh, it's uh, it's looking really good. 30 minute mark though. Trade off of outpost looks like it's gonna go, and it was a really fast roach respawn. Yeah, they haven't checked yet though. Oh man. I mean, if they know that it's there. I, I know it's kind of late with that big creep away bottom though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. God, that's if like, they would have uh, known. Well, they're not. Oh. They didn't go for it anyway though. NIP didn't stay. I mean. I guess that they can just go for this. The DD rune on freaking no one. The man of many runes. It all comes back again. But they didn't check it soon enough. And now the NIP. Hawk. The Hawk. They're they're trying to move out. The Hawk was sent the other direction. Oh, it went in already. It's all on. right, there, there. Move in, coming. Charlie wanting to contest. No one gets bashed. Very inopportune. Now some boars slow onto him. They turn, kill those boars. This is where you, you got to trust in the team fight, guys. 
you think they just go in with the BKBs? No. No, okay. definitely not. Okay. <laughs> Trust <laughs> that if they go in, you can win this fight. Got it. SVP, I think. That's the difference. Unfortunately, uh, Supreme is just farming a little bit. Look, look at this, like, Meepo's at home. This guy is just AFK Meepo went over here. Dude, you need to gank that area. That's and the next level play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those guys watching his games, you know where to ward. <laughs> exactly. There. It's Meepo squads. Okay, now they're hitting neutral speed. Dust comes out. On the strike, ready to go. And IP trying to play oppressively up in their face. Hoof Stomp connects now. On to no one. Still have the Soulbind if they want. Arena goes out. Spear on to Saberlight. Supernova afterwards. No one gonna go with the Wukongs. Come in. No, with the roar. They interrupt it. He doesn't manage to get it off. Jump forward looking for ILTW. He still has his Chronosphere available. It's Seneko gonna heal himself back up. They fall back on the Grim Shock. Jump forward. Destroy that Phoenix. And now the Supernova, or rather the Chronosphere now, but they don't have the damage. There's nothing left in it. Do they have any right clicks at all? No. Soulbind on to two. No follow up. And where are they at? I mean, they're just gonna completely blow up the Monkey King on the other side of it. Era trying to get brought down. He will be able to escape afterwards. The continued control, but they finally managed to bring down Meepo and Charlie. So a big win there from Virtus Pro as Saberlight, one of the last ones left alive, disarmed for the moment. Spider Legs not gonna stop it. And you said it. They had to trust in the team fight, and they did. Chase I think Ford, Rezo. Ah. Oh, yeah, he gets maybe he's out. good. Chase, Chase, he's good. Rezo's initiation was very good because it wasn't just like the two heroes he hit with the arena. It also cut off the Juggernaut too. I was very concerned when that Chrono went down though, and no one was being kited around by the Pango and the Beastmaster. I thought that was going to be the end of it, but with the uh, the buyback there for the Phoenix as well, probably helping out quite a bit. Like the sun rays and everything after the the supernova in the first round of his life. I yeah, I definitely thought that was gonna go way worse actually. <laughs> For Virtus Pro. They ended up making it work. And Pango. He is not gonna be able to make any type of magical moves here. So 33 minutes and VP managed to get the second Roche as uh Juggernaut's gonna pause and no one in era just kinda look at each other for a second here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, he doesn't have balance strike anyway, so it's all right. That uh, spear vessel was really messing up no one after the BKB too. Era ran out of charges fighting him, mm -hmm. just like kept spamming them on him. But uh, he used the essence ring on uh, on no one to, <laughs> to survive. It got uh, pretty dicey near the end of their little battle. Wonder what? Uh, so he got chronoed, and then after the chrono, oh, it doesn't even show the main. I was trying to look at his damage sources because I'm not sure how they managed to bring down that meepo at the end. Post yeah, promo. it would have uh, probably because it's it's gonna show on different ones differently. Yeah, exactly. Right? It just shows that summary of like the main one. But that's okay. right. I think the Phoenix definitely did a lot to him though. Um, the Phoenix felt like he was doing a ton of damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with Sunray. <laughs> yeah, like, Sunray, good. <laughs> it seems uh, it's. I mean, that combined with the Spirit Vessel, like uh, particularly against the Chen, like the fact that it has that AOE component to it now. Um, I think that that's really important for uh, facing off against Meepo. As no one, well, he's going to chase Era. Era did not decide to commit the Rolling Thunder, and, and he's going to be punished for it. Speared to death. I was there, pause. I don't feel as bad. Oh. <laughs> so it's okay. Jason may be looking for more now. No one's just going to farm up some creeps. So a I thousand think it might gold. be time for a gem here, guys. Yeah. Mocks are getting mighty annoying. I feel like the gem's going to pay for itself pretty quickly with how many the guy sends out. That's a good point. You get some decent gold from it. It's like 60 or something now, I want to say. I don't remember how much it is. It's good, though. Um, I will say the Aeon Disc for Zayats can make a pretty big difference. That, like, just absolute blow-up potential that NIP has and making sure he gets the egg off. Really important. It's still going to be so hard to get the egg off, though, even with the end on this in a game like this. Just because there's, like, Beastmaster for the attack speed aura, and then you also have the Meepo. You have a Juggernaut, like... Yeah. And yeah, really... this is like, okay, well, at least they have to hit me a few more times before I die. Yeah, I I, I mean, they have to protect it with the other They, they just smoke right under that ward back there, I think. Supreme breaks the smoke, throws out that. 
jump forward coming from the loose one. Top of the Wukong's command as well. They're on to all of them. Supreme is dying to this one. Chronosphere on the back lines to isolate the rest of them. He blade to keep alive Meepo, but there's the sunray damage that comes through. They blow him up. Omni slash down, stunned and killed. Rolling Thunder coming through. Era trying to turn this back into their favor with Charlie alive. Maybe that's enough damage, but he gets speared. Pulled away to the other side. Saber Light also under control. The rest of them are going to try and get taken down by Charlie. It's a good bit of damage over time onto all of them. They actually blow up another, and this Satanic is doing enough work to keep Charlie alive. Turns onto ILTW. They lost the Meepo, but they won the fight. Oh my god, he has teammates now. They're arising. Jug, the second richest in the game now after that fight. He just got 1,337 gold. Wow. Deeply, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know the last time I heard that. It's been a while. <laughs> no, you know, the numbers support it, so. That's right. Congratulations. And Charlie's your guy. So they used Aegis and Cheese on that one, right? Or no, ILTW still has the Aegis. Yeah, he was the one who didn't go down. Okay. Oh yeah, that's oh. a bit worrisome. Uh, man, that fight got kind of messy because like the the Mevo took so long to die, and then LTW was like trying to make the fight better by chronoing on the side. But I'm I'm not sure if like there was even that much damage going in at that point. I guess he was just trying to like hold off on the heals and the saves towards the Mevo, and then hoping they could finish it after that. But yeah, either way, Charlie's terrifying right now. Satanic Paladin Sword Butterfly. You've, you've done so much in your game to itemize versus the Mevo to try and keep yourselves alive, but now this Juggernaut like. What do they have versus this Jug now? Yeah. It's a very interesting dynamic that they have going on here. Well, and, you know, Faceless Wood, you can see opting more for, like, the damage within the Chrono than anything else. He's just the 40 attack speed for ILTW. Oh, Boundless Strike onto Charlie. Roar, turn around onto Zayat, trying to control him. The jump forward yet again. They've got all their ulties up another round. NIP are crazy. But ILTW is going to go down at least once. And they bring down this Meepo yet again. The right click's coming in for all the heals. Supreme going down low and is going to die. Charlie trying to make the, the hero play. Getting to do it. He's taking a lot of damage over time. Has another Blade Fury in a second. With this Butterfly, he's doing a lot, but it is not going to be enough. Up. They will lose the Juggernaut, but in the meantime, Era jumps in, kills off the Monkey King. Still some heroes alive on NIP, but they need to get out of there because their main cores have died and Era also is going to drop. So, <laughs> I, don't know. I can't believe he was Vessel that entire time. That is an insane amount of life steal that he has on Charlie. Yeah. Thank God that he has so many charges. That's his eight charges still left after spamming them throughout that fight as well. He's just constantly keeping them pegged down with these spirit vessels. And yeah, and again, the AoE too. He used four spirit vessels that fight. That's crazy. And he keeps on getting, I mean, yeah. And I, I think that part of the thing that's nuts about it too with this jug is like, you can take it off with the spin, but he, I don't think that any of them were dispelled. Maybe like one charge of it was dispelled. Yeah, I don't know. He was spinning like at the very start, I think on the tower. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's got no dispel working for him. Resolution kills the courier. That gives him enough gold to finish the AC. Nicely timed there. Um, I don't know how to read this game. Like, it feels like it's still just on a knife's edge. It could it's, go either way. It's the big ulties, you know? Like, again, like, the, that egg was so perfectly placed, kind of like in between the Wukong's command and just outside the arena, too, and they couldn't reach it because it feels like there's just everyone's lacking some sort of itemization. So the Dire, they still don't have uh, magic immunity because they're versus a Faceless Void and like a lot of BKB piercing stuff. But then they couldn't get through the wall to get to the egg. It was just immune. Like yeah. no one could get there. So <laughs> the egg goes off. And even if they don't have the best items for killing the Jug, like through his butterfly or anything, they managed to win that giant team fight. Now they can start itemizing towards those MKBs. So. This game is just like ebbing and flowing back and forth based on who gets the last big team fight win. Still very even. Uh, both teams have that potential for the complete blow up too, between like Omni Slash, the Meepo Jump, even just a spear right now. I feel like there's enough damage because everyone's just moving as a five man unit anyway. Feels like oh. the big pickoffs are what we need. And they find him. Meepo on the backside, but the turnaround is there. No one pops his BKB. Ton of damage coming in. Hand of God, it's not enough. Meepo is down. With the Chronosphere and the Supernova going down round two. Charlie. They're under fire. This is huge. Charlie gets the Omni Slash off. Are you kidding me? Able to live through it, and he's healed back up to full. That's a Satanic Omni Slash. Turns on the solo, blows him up, and now the root onto ILTW trying to jump away. Do they have the control? They do. That is Supreme back in the fight for round two of this one. 
But did they get enough for that buyback? If they go now, maybe. Uh, the Roche isn't for a minute 20. I don't think they can really go high ground here, can they? Well, oh, well, yeah, they, yeah, they can. Never mind. There's no, there's no ultimates. Yeah, okay, yeah, you definitely go high ground. All right, yeah, 40 good. seconds until Monkey King and Supernova are back up. They have the Arena of Blood back up again. Buyback comes. Able to get the spear into Charlie. They got to keep him alive. Barely able to get that spin run away off, and Charlie still uh -huh. under control. The turnaround with the Satanic trying to live through it. The silence, it's not quite enough. Sineko's nearby with some heals in oh, a second, but fine. it's not going to be there in time. Still, they take down Charlie, and now the roll through coming from Era. The rest of NIP have to get the hell out of here. Supreme Blinks tries to get the poop away and will manage to escape Sineko on the other side of that tree. Oh my god, the most valued tree ever. He manages to escape too. Oh. Where does that even put us now? So we had buybacks from the uh, the Void and the Grimstroke. So yeah. our total buyback status right now, actually almost no one has buyback, is just the Phoenix and the Chen. Wow. And, I mean, Jug's pretty close, Pango's pretty close, but other than that, no one's really that close. Hmm. What other items? I feel like we haven't seen much of Virtus Pro hitting neutral creeps. They only have the Illusion Escape right now, which isn't even on anybody. Now on the other side, uh, NIP have four neutral items, including a Minotaur horn that's just away somewhere. Where is that at? That's a great question. Unknown's not a good sign, that's for sure. Did they leave it on the ground somewhere? It might have been. The, don't the Meepos drop them? Isn't that like a common Meepo issue? Oh, that could be. We'll have the to keep just them. randomly drop them. At least they used to. Dude, if the Minotaur horn is just like hanging out somewhere, that's a huge item. Oh wait, they got it. Okay, they got it. Oh nice. It's on uh it's on the Beastmaster now. What a relief. Yeah, some pretty big items. Meepo gets the ninja gear. 20 extra Agi for him. No one gets some too though. Pretty nice for a Meepo or for a Monkey Kings trying to move across the whole map. Yeah. Man, they do they still not have a gem? They really need to get rid of this vision. There's so much good vision from NIP and they're about to capitalize it I on it, I think, on Rezo. God, he's like so alone. All right, now the backup is coming, but now they've already committed in. Era Roar comes out. Spin comes from Charlie in time. The turnaround is going to be there in just a moment. Sineko kind of isolated away from the rest of his team. He's trying to live through this one. On the back line, Supreme finds LTW, seeing if they can find that kill. Leashed for the moment. Roar had already been used, but there's going to be the Chronosphere used afterwards. Charlie living through this one. Era's living through this one. Oh, never mind. There's the turnaround that they needed. And the silence and the stun onto the jug. He can't get that Omni Slash off. Saber like it's bashed. They take all four of them down. What the hell oh, happened, man. NIP? I think they got a little baited. Like, they had such good vision, and it looked like the rest of VP were going to kind of back up, and Rezo was alone. So I think they were just about to think about jumping on him. But then they saw, like, the other three heroes coming, and Saber like just kind of went for it. Uh, like, it was a pretty good, like, chaotic way to set that fight in some sense, because if things are planted and set, we already know how well that's going to go for Virtus Pro. Like, uh, that area is just, like, so broken apart and a lot harder to land these, like, big five-man ultis, I feel like. I mean, Supreme did get the backline jump. He killed the egg right away. Yeah. It wasn't enough, though. And this tale of buybacks does not spell, uh, anything good. There's 270 away for the jug. There's no bounties coming. Yep, and oh, there's the might couple not. range creeps. Yeah, I don't think he's going to tick into that. They don't have any way to get that for him. No, this is just no buyback for the Jug, although he's going to be back up in 25. They did decide to use their Glyph on that second wave to try and kill off the creep wave. So that was one nice part of it, at least. And you can see that it looks like Virtus Pro feeling uncomfortable with pushing high ground with the creeps in their base. They lose both sets of those racks already. Only hey, going on to one other one. Yeah. They, they saw Roche in their courier, so it's like, no point going for a tier three, as we know tier threes are kind of worthless anyway. So I might as well go back to secure Roche. And who wants an Agonim? So that seems like Monkey King, probably. Although, I, I still haven't gotten to see this uh, Void one very often. It seems yeah. pretty good now. Uh, against Meepo, that seems kind of busted. But maybe if you had the Battle of Fury, it would be a lot better. I like the Monkey King one just for overall being good. Yeah. He had it oh, queued wow. up earlier. Dude, if you had the Battle Fury, though, and that New Faces Void one, and you, like, time walk through and cleaved everything. That sounds pretty sick. I like that idea. Although it's only a time lock proc. So maybe that doesn't matter, actually. Well, whatever the case, get to Witless Shackle and a Minotaur Horn. 
It is a 10,000 gold lead now for Virtus Pro. And you can see NIP so close to closing this one out with just that one last set of racks, but that's not happening. Well, Supreme, they find him. Okay, sheep, poof away, <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> Will we make it to the end? That is the question of neutral items. <laughs> are we going to take these flaws? I don't How know. How good is our high ground? I don't think it's that good on the side of NIP. This this is looking like danger territory. Of course, we said that several times this game. Right. Where it looked like things were uh, very much in the hands of Virtus Pro. And it did not work out at that point. So who knows? It could be. It definitely could be. Um, Bounty Rune's going to be taken by Supreme here. 45 minutes in, and he's just running around with his ninja gear, keeping the rest of his Meepos in a very safe space. Back in the fountain. <laughs> no one else on the hunt here. No. Arrow will just get out. Okay. Manages to escape. LTW underneath some vision there, I thought, with a hawk. It's still hanging out in the area. But it's still, it's just. It's so hard to chase anybody down here. Did I have a gem a while ago? I, I, the Radiant still not bought one. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like they really need a gem. No. They have that poor. Uh, Solo just wants a scythe, which is fair. I mean, you're a grim stroke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. All right, smoke up. Let's see what they do. Charlie, gonna get initiated on right at the start. Managed to get the spin off resolution. Yeah, a little bit underestimated late. the status resistance, I guess. Try to like min max it. Oh, wait, no, they found him though. They found the monkey. Oh, Charlie wanted to go for that so badly. But now LTW, he, oh, he slashed, he got nobody. Oh, LTW, there's no escape. The hex comes out afterwards. Charlie able to make the jump away. He got a great play. Virtus Pro a little bit slow on their spells, but now trying to make up for it. Seeing if they can take down this Chen. The soul bind is onto both of them. Sineko, he's got the hand of God afterwards. The jump in coming, Charlie will go down. But now the continued run at you from Virtus Pro is going to be enough to find those couple of kills. Yo, where was Meepo in all that? Yeah, exactly. He could not get in. He just couldn't find it. He was just completely absent. Wow. That was like that the opposite of when they killed the Meepo and then everyone else cleaned up. That was like, Meepo, yeah. why are you going to pay us back now? And they're just going to try and end the game. I mean, Virtus Pro, they recognize a moment when they are strong and they're going to force out some buybacks from the jug. At the very least, Charlie jumps into all of them. Supreme on the back line. The jump through. Is it going to be enough? Charlie's got to run. He's got to hide. No, Satanic. He's dead. That's a dieback. If Supreme goes down now, this is going to be tragic. They're controlling Saberlight. Arrow rolls through, tries to find the kill, trying to just buy enough space for Saberlight to live. While well, Era and Supreme just look on as Virtus Pro take their base. Unbelievable. Oh, Supreme comes in, controls one, now trying to take down LTW. He managed to get the jump away. The net did not come soon enough. This time dilation is also kind of wrecking the Meepo. Era going to get pinned to the tower yet again. He is dead, buys back now. And LTW might get jumped on in just a second. They do have another Hex available in three if they want to use it, but no one is now back in the fray. He's got a Boundless Strike to turn this back around. Virtus Pro might just have enough. They jump forward, try and blow up no one. Is it going to be enough? No, he gets the cheese off. That's going to be enough to make him live in Supreme. Going to drop. Has a buyback yet again. Is forced to use it. Supernova wearing off in just a moment. They don't have Chrono for another 40 seconds, but it doesn't matter. The throne goes down. And in the end, the ultis were enough. Yeah. Maybe they were trying to get all the ultis out 